Help Juice's knowledge base analytics give you full insight into what's going on, what you're missing out, and what you should be doing to improve your knowledge base. In the overview panel, you can see the support cases avoided, in other words, how effective your knowledge base is, your solution quality index, in other words, how many people that are searching for content are finding what they're looking for. In our case, we see over 90% which is a really fantastic measurement. And then we can also see our team usage. In other words, how frequently are our team accessing and viewing content, right? And further on, we can see the top contributors, who's writing the most, who's reading the most, and as well as the top articles and then top searches. We can get into more granular data for each and every uh, item of your knowledge base, whether it's your searches, your articles, your categories, your users, or an integration that you may have. As you can see here, I have the Salesforce integration hence why I'm seeing Salesforce in the left-hand side. Last but not least, I can also filter by content type. So whether it's internal content, in other words, our actual employees, or whether it's the public searching, right? Simply by a click. And of course, I can filter by date and time. The searches tab give you an insight on what people are searching for and finding as well as not finding. So here you can see all our searches. You can see the found searches, the ones where people start typing and then they just kind of bounce off the knowledge base and then the, free, the searches where people search and search and search and they don't find. To make things simple, we condense all this information into a keyword, but you can also view raw searches by clicking here. This is gonna show you all the raw queries. So let's just say a keyword such as internal seems to be interesting, it seems to be popping up a lot. What you can do is you can click on it and then it'll show you more information on that keyword specifically. As you can see here, I'm seeing all the searches that contain the word internal, article internal, internal blocks, internal reviewer. It seems like there's a lot of searches with article internal only sections and article internal blocks as well as internal viewers that people want an answer on. And then here I can see how many articles they've shown, which articles they read and viewed. As you can see, this is something that we're in dire need to create an article from. Furthermore, with the articles section, I can instantly see how well our articles are performing and which ones I need to be improved. As you can see here, Help Juice instantly tells me that the SSL certificate article needs to be improved. Luckily for us, we automatically provision SSL nowadays so we can update this documentation let customers know that they don't have to worry about SSL now. I can also see the most liked articles and the ones that, the ones that they spend the most time on. Obviously, API has the most time being spent on as a developer, really technical documentation, privacy policy, well, there's where lawyers are. And so you can really get a good glimpse of what people are spending time on, whether you can make the article simpler or whether it's simply engaging. As you can see, these are actually really positive in the metrics, but you could also interpret it the other way around. You can also see the most read articles that, and then you can also get uh, an overall glimpse of every article in, in, themselves on the average time spent, dislikes, and when it was last updated. You can also get really granular data on an article specifically. For example, Help Juice API version 3, I can see the traffic for the last seven days as well as last year, what searches lead to that term, and which users of my internal knowledge base viewed that most. Categories allow you to get a really good understanding from a bird's eye view on which portions of your knowledge base are doing well. Articles are pretty granular. So if you're really looking to optimize on an article basis, it's fantastic, but sometimes you wanna get a good understanding of which topical relevance is important. So here I can see with Help Juice, 125 views for integrations within our knowledge base within the last seven days, tells me that a lot of people care about our knowledge base integrations. I can further on get in, in more details with our users analytics. Specifically, I can see who our users are what they're searching for, what articles they're reading, what articles they're contributing. And I can, of course, do this on a group level if I have too many users. So let's say the marketing group. It seems like they're pretty active with the knowledge base. As you can see, they updated 47 articles and created 119 searches. On this page, I can see all the activities being done by each, every member of this group, as well as the searches and articles that they're creating. Now, of course, if I wanna get super granular data on a user specifically, I can click on that user within the analytics and see all the information about them, what searches they're looking for, the articles that they're viewing, and really get a good grasp of where they're stuck and also whether they're even using the knowledge base. Maybe they need to push. So that was a quick overview of the Help Juice knowledge base analytics. As you can see, our powerful analytics allow you to instantly get a grasp of where the content leaks are, who's using your knowledge base and who isn't, and what searches are leading to which articles so you can better optimize your articles and users understanding.
Thanks.